News of the World reported that Sarah, Duchess of York, had allegedly offered access to her ex-husband, Prince Andrew, to a man that she thought was a business tycoon in return for a payment of half a million pounds. In fact, it was really an undercover reporter. Sarah has now apologised for the embarrassment calls, citing the incident as a serious lack of judgement. Buckingham Palace issued a statement categorically denying the Duke of York's knowledge of the meeting. However, this isn't the first time a public figure has been stung by this type of journalism. All of which begs the question, is this kind of story really in the public interest? Well, this story, I think... Um... I think it possibly is, although it's, it's difficult. It's difficult to judge. Um, and there are certainly loads of stories that come to light, you know, by this type of journalism. And so, you know, sometimes you do have to question, are they in the public interest? And I think, actually, it doesn't matter, because these, these, this type of journalism, as you say, is, I think, is essential to find out the times when we really do need to find out stuff. And if, if someone says, right, you can only use entrapment if it's, in, if it's genuinely in the public interest, it can be argued all the time that it's not, however important it is. And the other thing is, like, if, you, if you do use entrapment, then, you know, not everybody is corruptible. And if you are, then surely you've only got yourself to blame for, for falling but, for it. Do you know what I mean? If a journalist comes along to you and says, well, do you want to do something absolutely outrageous and disgusting, if you set, turn around and say, OK, yes, then surely you're the one to blame, not the journalist. Well, no, that's not fair and that's not... Well, I mean, why? We're, we're why? About... You're the weak one. But why? I mean, why if, would if I you, be weak? If, if you I do in my... It. Well, if you're using me as an example, what I do in my, my private life, as, as a fundamentally private person, somebody who's yes, never we... sought payment for interviews no. or put myself out there, so say I wanted to go and, and, I don't know, have an affair with somebody, that's my business. Well, it's not that... in the public interest, yeah, it's in the do... public titillation. Never, and never, therein lies the difference, Carol, nevertheless, surely. Nevertheless, it's immoral, whatever you're doing. It's not illegal, to, though, and they're, and they're trying to lure you into money. doing something immoral. Well, so, it's... therefore, so what? If you didn't do it, then you wouldn't have to worry about it, would you? But that, I'm saying you. I'm not saying you. I'm no, saying you but okay. I'm talking about We're public talking about figures. public figures, right? Yeah. Public figures who are paid for with taxpayers' money, yeah. i.e. the royal family. 100%. And I suppose the difference is here, is Sarah Ferguson supported by taxpayers' money? Well, she rents a property from her husband, who is, or ex-husband. So there's a fine line here. I mean, well, for example, if you get into... what I mean. I don't know if it is or not. So using somebody else. I mean, she was selling somebody else. I mean, how low is that? However... Is entrapment and that form of jur journalism ever, ever correct? And that's what one has to ask. Yeah. You know, because you're a celebrity, does it mean prepare to, prepare to be exposed? No matter what you do, someone is going to find out about it, where other people in life can get away with all kinds of things and make their own decisions yeah, about whether I they want to, to say, do it or I not I think if it. you're a celebrity and you're one of these people that does, you know, live your life through the press, you can't just expect to live all your... You can't invite the press in for the baby shots and the lovely new house shots and the lovely marriage shots and then expect them to leave you alone when all the bad stuff happens. When you've no, portrayed this aren't right. we a perfect think, family, yeah. of course it's they're going to print, well, actually, your, no, they're not, because he or she's having an affair. Selling, but yeah. if you are a private yeah. person who has yeah. tried to live a private life as much as you can and you haven't done all of those things, then surely you do... You, do you have a right to say, OK, I might not be um, very well behaved in my marriage, for example, but that's our business, not your business? Is, is that not where the line could and should be drawn? I think... I, well, yes, but I think the problem nowadays, what scares me with the entrapment thing is, you know, if they're doing entrapment because they have good, good evidence that this person is doing something that's wrong and it is in the public interest, what scares me about entrapment nowadays are the, are the ones where they set up the entrapment where actually the person isn't doing anything. You know, for instance, yeah, they're yeah. trying to insinuate yeah. someone's having an affair so they'll pay a whatever, a model yeah, or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. to go and stand next to them and get the photo and go, oh, look who they've been spotted well, with. This I think that's it. completely but that's exactly, out of But order. that's exactly what I'm saying, though. You know, if you don't do anything wrong, then you've got nothing to yeah, answer for, have you? Yeah, a lot of people do anything wrong. They're out having a drink and a young girl comes up and goes, hi, can I have a kiss? You go like that, there's a photo. And the next thing is, who's the blonde next yeah, to but, whoever? Yeah, but this is or... it. You can't, you can't claim privacy on any level because then the wrong people get protected. And that's, that's, the, that's the sad 
sad, but honest truth no, I, about the I, whole I, I point of journalism. You have to be aware and of there it. are a lot of celebrities who would choose to, you know, can afford to have very expensive injunctions brought out against people yeah. and against reporting of certain things. And that, and the danger there is they set precedents, and then you get into a, a situation where people well. who really don't deserve to be protected can be protected. So, you know, you have to let them do what they want. It's not yeah. satisfactory, but that's the way it is. Let's know what you think. Remember the ice.